Rapid City Fire Department is really great to Black Hills Works and BH Services. They come to the Black Hills Works Learning Institute twice a month to do training with um, the people that we serve. And also they're doing a training for us. They do one yearly for employees and we get to shoot off and learn how to use fire extinguishers live. So we take old expired fire extinguishers and we actually get to have our staff members get to practice with them. And also they are more than willing to set up training with the people we serve in our community in their homes to teach them how to exit safely and use the fire extinguishers and preventative measures that they have in their specific homes or apartments or work areas. What's unique with our relationship is you, if you take the base of people that we're working with and the safety, one, the safety assurances that we have to put in place are different than a normal home or a no, even a normal business environment because a lot of times we might be serving folks in a residential area that have evacuation challenges, might not be able to best understand safety in the first place and to help uh, bring it to a level that the, the people with, with intellectual or developmental disability can, can understand so that they can um, best interact in their home environment in a safe manner. A lot of our people actually, when the fire department comes, learn a lot about how to uh, prevent a fire if somebody's on fire themselves. They can't actually get on the floor and stop, drop, and roll. Um, they're learning how to take a blanket or a pillow or something to smother a fire that's in somebody in a wheelchair. We have actually had a fire, fire truck show up uh, and let the people sit in the fire truck, let the people see what the fire truck looks like inside. Um, they've gotten to try on some of the fire equipment, some of the fire gear, uh, sit in the back of the truck and see what it's like to be a fireman and what they go through. Um, they've sat outside taking pictures with the fire truck. When we need them to respond to, you know, if there's a health emergency going on, they are absolutely incredible on interacting with folks with disabilities in the right manner that's appropriate, that's respectful, that helps folks not be afraid of them, the help that they're giving, which can also, you know, at times involve getting real creative, just basically helping them feel safe and supported and that everything's going to be okay. When you take a look at responding to emergencies, you know, they're going to run into a lot of situations where a person themselves' ability to communicate what's going on with them might be challenging and for them to have patients to work with staff to figure out what a person's trying to communicate. They do a really good job of that. Very patient, very um, person-centered in working with people with disabilities so that they can help the person without them being scared about it, so that they know they're the good guys, the good gals out there.